So we have a super fun one today. We're going to take our character and rig it up in Mixamo. Uh, Mixamo is a Adobe uh, product that is free and it has a bunch of motion capture animation that will apply to your uh, FBX or OBJ. So we've got so many options and let's just jump right in. Here is a character that I have. I'm going to export the selection uh, out as an FBX. I already did this, so, but let's just call it Mixamo. And then once you've done that, and I'm using Maya, so um, this whole process is gonna be between Maya and Mixamo. You can obviously use these in anything. Um, these FBXs will come with the animation, so you can use them in Blender or a game engine such as Unity, uh, and it works really well. So next up, I have an old character here. I need a new character, so I click Upload Character. Just a note, you'll need to sign up for Mixamo when you first use it, so you'll probably I uh, have to take some time to do that. I already did it. I'm just navigating over to my FBX. Here it is, Mixamo. I'm gonna pull it in. Take some minutes to load. There's a few instances where you'll have to wait while it loads. Characters in there. Some weird things going on with the coloration, but um, I wouldn't worry about that for now. You pick the different parts of the character. This is the chin. You roughly find the location where it matches. So the chin, the wrist, the wrist is about here. Elbows are about here. Knees are about, and you get that zoom in on the top right. You can really see where you're going. Um, there, groin, there, next. And then it's auto rigging, so it takes a second. You'll see that it shows her in her most um, unsmooth state, I guess, uh, with her geometry clear because usually I uh, am just view her as smooth preview and not in this rough state. But when you bring her into Maya, you'll be able to smooth her again. And there she is alive and moving. So next, next, we can apply different animations. Um, I like to make them dance. <laughs> There she is doing the chicken dance. Very silly. <laughs> that actually came out awesome. Um, or maybe we can do a little robot hip hop. I don't even know what that is. Hip hop. Oh, oh, dang, she's good. <laughs> okay, so once you've found the animation that you want, let's say we wanna do a simple walk cycle. Walking, great. So it's a very feminine walk, very cool, looks good. You can put her into overdrive so you can make her go real fast or a little bit slower. Uh, you can give the character more arm space. Sometimes the geometry intersects with itself so you need that arm space to stop it from doing that. Or maybe you want the arms to be a little tighter towards the body. Obviously that won't work here. We need them to be about where they started. That's good. Um, stride, giving her longer steps, that's kind of cool. And then trim is just deciding the total frames you're getting. So I like to give, give it a lot of frames. Why not? And all right, so then we download frames per second. I always change this to 24 because that's what I use in Maya. Everything else can stay the same. And there you go, you've got it here. So I have it in my file. Um, 
I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm also going to pull it into my file explorer. Um, sorry, I'm just opening it up on my other screen so that it's ready to go. Characters, garden girl is what I call her. Um, assets. I'm going to make a subfolder here called Mix Mixmo. And I'm going to pull in now for my downloads. I have the walking FBX. I just moved that over into the new file that I created. And now back in Maya we go. So we've got Maya here. I'm just going to hide the original geo. Control H and then I'm going to import the animated FBX, which is located, whoopsie daisy, uh, garden girl, um, assets, Mixamo, walking. She comes in, you can see her animated bones here. You can see the animation. To an issue. What is that issue? I think the old geo was affecting it. So I just deleted the old geo, brought in, brought it in again. So that old geo was in the way um, and for some reason was freezing up the animation. But now that I've taken that out, she came in perfectly fine. And there she is walking with the motion capture. So if we zoom out a little bit and get a good view here, here she is walking towards us. Very cool. Very cool. That is awesome. And I think there's more frames even. Is there 150? Let's take a peek. No, it goes up to 70. So there she is. Some of these loop, some don't. Um, if you want to see your keyframes, they're here. You can copy and paste them um, to create a loop if you need to. And that's it. And this is addictive and fun and really the best uh, way to get your character moving fast. So I hope you guys try it out and you love it as much as I do. Mixamo, you will spend hours, hours laughing and having fun on this.